Are you looking for a makeup look for this fall? You might want to stick around and watch this video so you can get all the deets on this Hi, look. I'm Gloril, your skincare and makeup coach, and I help working women find an easy makeup and skincare routine to make them look and feel gorgeous. This is the makeup look. Hope you like it. Um, if you want to know more information about the products that I was using, you can always let me know. And um, I washed my face. I'm going to show you this makeup look with this palette. And this is a palette I built. This is the Merlot, the Mahogany, the Cinnabar, and the Shiny Penny. And so these are going to be our shades for tonight. I am just prepping my face. I am going to put some eye cream eye cream we want to hydrate the eye um, I'm going to use my moisturizer you don't need a lot at least my face my face is oily but um, faces that are dry you want to hydrate as much as you can because makeup tends to um, at least for dry skin it tends to dry it out more right and we're using powder so I am going to prep the eyelid my concealer and my translucent powder oh I know I, I knew I forgot something so I needed my blending brush but we're gonna do this with the finger or we can do it with a brush, but we're gonna do it with a finger. This concealer I really like because it's very light, but it covers up everything, right? Take a little bit of my powder and I am going to dip it into the translucent powder and we're going to prime our eyelid because we want those colors to show. This is my first makeup tutorial, so I am very nervous and giddy and I don't even know. I know what I'm doing, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take our fluffy brush. And we want a fluffy brush because we're going to dip into the Cinnabar, which is going to be this one. Just because it's the lighter brown and we're gonna sweep it all over the lid. So we're going to dip into it, remove the excess, and we're going to, I have a hooded eye, so I'm gonna go above my natural crease because I want it to show. And we're gonna do circles, and we're going to try to come up from the um, corner of our eye and we're going to sweep. We're going to do this. So these these Chroma Fusion eyeshadows are very blendable. So they are blendable and buildable. So you can start with a little and then keep adding. I have hooded eyes. If you have a normal eye and you don't have hooded eyes, you can just sweep the same way. You're going to use the same technique, but you're going to use it in your crease in your natural crease. Nice palette because it can be used on any eye color and it'll make those eyes pop. So the good thing about these Chroma Fusion eyeshadows, I was gonna say, was that they last for 12 hours. So if we do our priming right with either our concealer, you can use a concealer, you can use an eye primer. Um, and this is going to do, it's going to last you for 12 hours. And then the other thing is that if you see you have a, an array of eyeshadows, they're going to be matte and shimmer, and they're about 30 something colors. So you can pick, you can pick your color, right? Blend as much as you can because you don't want to see, you don't want seems to to come up when the transit you want a good transition of your colors so if you don't blend enough 
you can't go wrong by blending, right? But if you don't blend enough, what it does is it, it looks patchy. It looks fairly good on the blending portion. So, but you can never go wrong. So you can always blend a little more. And you want to sweep as if you were just lightly touching it. You don't want to sweep hard like this. You want to just like make sure that it's just like kissing it, just touching it. Okay. I think we're good. So next I'm going to dip into mahogany and I am just going to deepen this corner of my eye. So I'm going to deepen the crease. And so we're going to use the same, I'm going to use the same. I could use a different. I'm gonna use another. I'm gonna I'm just just leave that there. We're gonna use a different blending brush, and this one's gonna be more tapered. And so we're going to dip into mahogany, and this is an intense brown. So you can do the same thing. So in circle or more, so it's like if it were a C. We're going to deepen that crease. And so I'm gonna do like a C, but it's gonna be small, right? Because we want just to deepen. We're gonna do like a C motion. And we're going to just deepen that crease. And so I like these shadows because they glide super easy. They are very blendable. The fallout is minimal, except if you're having colors like these browns, obviously it's there's gonna be a little more, but if you're like just sweeping cinnabar over your eyelids because you just want some brown and some color, um, they tend to not fall out as much. And they, they have so many colors. You can pick and choose what colors you want. And the other thing I was going to say is that 2019, um, they won the 2019 Cosmopolitan Makeup Award. So that tells you something, right? Okay. So I'm going to take a more tapered, more smaller brush and I'm going to dip into Merlot and Merlot is going to be like our purpley shade and this we're going to accent right here. So we're going to deepen. We're going to deepen that color on our eyelid. I'm going to take Shiny Penny with my ring finger. Make this clean. And we're just going to dab it in the middle of our eye. And that is going to give it some shine and some shimmer and it's going to make it look so pretty. Okay. And I think I got ahead of myself, but it's okay. Okay. So. Now, I'm going to line and I'm going to use mahogany because it's my darker brown and I'm going to line.
Okay, and if you do replicate this look, send me a picture, put it in the comments. I want to see how it looks like, what it looks like. Okay, so now, what are we going to do? So we have our top here. I guess we have to go with our next eye, right? We don't want to be lopsided. I'm going to do the same thing on my bottom lid. I'm going to align it with this color and then I'm going to clean up. Okay. So where did I put it? Okay. So, I'm just using the micellar water. Micellar water is like the best thing to just cover up any mess that you make. Or if you don't want to wash your face and you don't want to do the whole routine, micellar water is your go-to. It takes everything out. We're going to do our face. So... I like to line my eyebrows and this you want to do little, little um, touches, little touches and we're going to go from barely any to more intense. You don't want to do it the other way. Why? Because then, then our brows look weird. So. The power on my mirror is like crashing, like my mirror, I can see the, my mirror crashing on the light, so I think that's why I'm like nervous. Ah! Okay. And we're going to place more than we actually need because I need to do the under eye. So this is kind of like baking, so we're baking under eye put some powder and this just helps it set we're going to use the one that needs to line we're going to use it with our should be our cinnabar but we use mahogany so we're going to line our whole eye with mahogany and we're going to do the same thing we're going to go slowly Slowly in our under eye. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. And I'm going to do some lightness in the inner corner of the eye, so I'm just going to go right up there we're going to use our black eyeliner and this black black eyeliner is amazing it's smudge proof is everything proof like it just stays on I won't use this on a day-to-day -day basis, but at least I'll use it if it's an untight lightning. Okay, I think I'm done with mascara. Okay, so 
So now, now we want to get rid of that powder. So now, we're just gonna take our brush and just, and I think I, I feel like I'm putting more on. Now I think I got it up. Okay. So now, but contour, contour makes a difference. So we can talk about contour later if that's something that you want to know. But so I apply my bronzer like if it were a three. And this helps because it highlights your cheekbones, it highlights your jawline, and it highlights your temples. So you want to do like if it were a three. And if you're going to blend it out, you're going to blend it out like if it were like if you were going upwards. Why? Because if you don't, then it's going to look. So, I like to do my jaw. And whoever knows me knows these, like, if you wanted to know my secrets, if you see my pictures and you are like, oh, glowy skin, bronzer browser makes it so much better okay so now and this is going to set our makeup oh well, I love to use makeup makeup always like accentuates the best of us and you just have to just know where to place it but um, but you can play around and you can do all sorts of things. That's why I like makeup. So this is a makeup look. I hope you like it. hope you enjoy it. You can always replay. And if you are interested in any of the shades, you can always let me know and DM me. So I hope you have a good night. So bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Take care.